Hello everybody, I uh, hope you are very fine. Uh, we are very happy to have you today on this webinar about Point Cloud. Please note this webinar is being recorded and also you can do all the, you can um, write all your questions. We will try to reply all of them uh, during the webinar and if not, we will send you a personalized email to give you the specific reply to your questions. Today with me is uh, Antonio Pardo and Jorge Cabanas, uh, both of them uh, AppleTop uh, teams, uh, that uh, each one will show you uh, part of MDT, part of uh, Point Cloud modules, and a surprise about a new software coming called uh, TCP Point Cloud Editor. Okay, let me quickly introduce AppleTop, as I suppose most of you participating already knows us. Um, okay, so uh, AppleTop is a Spanish company based in Malaga in the south, and we are software developers for surveying and civil engineering. We have a huge expansion internationally with more than uh, 15,000 users licensed worldwide and we work through exclusively distributors able to give you a first local support. Uh, this is one of our main success but also particularly because our licenses are permanent, easy to use and a very competitive price. Another big point of AppleTop is our very uh, recommended after-sales services. We have a very high quality technical support giving you a specific reply to your needs. We offer a different kind of training from basic to advanced and also I really invite you to put in uh, YouTube AppleTop. You will find a lot of video. Uh, even if you find them in Spanish, you can go to subtitle because uh, most all the videos are uh, with English subtitle, but also we have different languages available. Some quality certification about our quality, like ISO 9001 or Innovative SME. And one uh, really important point is a clients and distributors survey, which allow us to have always uh, the specific tools for your needs. Some innovative projects, uh, you have to know that we work so much for public and private uh, companies and we invite you to discover all these soft, uh, these investigative projects that, because we believe they are really relevant for the surveying market. <coughs> Some universities and associations, at international level we work with LandXML which is a, a generic format of exchange between one software to another one. The building smart with the open BIM format. AppleTop is very involved on the promotion and the divulgation of the BIM format. We have already comments to work on uh, to export uh, in IFC like superficies, alignment and this kind of things. And now let's start to work to, to, to know a little bit about our know-how. What are able to do our software like uh, 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 managing an urbanization, uh, queries, mining, tunnel. Firstly, you have to know that our development partners are so much working on Android, Apple, S3, uh, uh, Intel and Microsoft, which allow us to be cut cross-platform. Uh, our software, like MDT, we will see, is a plugin who need a CAD. So we are uh, working on AutoCAD 21, RISCAD V20 and ZVCAD uh, V20. Uh, we have also some brands agreement. We work with uh, different companies that uh, give us their last instrument in order to be compatible with their uh, 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 station or laser scanner. AppleTop is for family software. Today we will have a kind of mix because um, our module point cloud is also very used in the photogrammetry sector, but uh, MDT is about surveying project. We have also software for tunnel and software for field to work so much on um, Windows than Android. Our current research area are actually point clues. Point Cloud, and as you will see, we will show you the new software coming uh, Point Cloud editors. 
uh, augment reality, drone, and beam for infrastructure. Some national reference, we work with the main Spanish contractors like SACIR, ACCIONA, we have an uh, agreement with uh, the highest university of Spain. And at international level, we have a great and a great project like uh, Panavial, which is a highway who will cross the uh, east part of United States from north to the south. Uh, uh, we part in Canada. Actually, we are working in Panama, Colombia, part in Ecuador, and this kind of things. Uh, the underground of uh, New York or Riyadh, and we spawn include some projects in Africa for managing queries and these kind of things. And thank you very much. I will now let hands to my colleague Antonio Pardo to start with a live demo that I... Uh, okay, just one second, make presenters. Antonio, can you share your screen? Yes. Can I hear me? Yeah. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Today, we are going to show how to work with Point Cloud uh, application from Ablitot family. Um, now, this is only to say that the, this application was born due to the fact that there are many uh, uh, massive uh, data acquisition devices that allow us to get a dense point cloud easily, like a laser scanner, even a total, total station, a drone by a drone flight, or, or another way, the, the leader sensor, no? Okay, with the first of all, we are going to show how, manage, how to organize the, the application, okay? In this case, we have a, a, a little example, okay? on this on this area of work okay um only to say that that the the application are organized by three tabs mainly the first one home is only to setting up the different parameter in the application like a like a color languages uh, etc okay like another kind of application but mainly the the second one the second one and the third one are the mainly mainly tasks that we can offer Ablitor offer us different tools to manage the the point cloud uh, the point of, point cloud tabs offer us how to work with them for example to load to import to export to filter different uh, different cloud of point to to create a new a new a new cloud uh, to show the property of each point each point cloud okay in this window we we can show the different point clouds that we can work okay we have loaded there um, and we can work with them at the same time okay the second the second the second tools offer us to 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 cut or to trim one point cloud to to cut in another point cloud smaller to to work with this uh, easier okay it's a, a one kind of 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 work we we select the limit uh, the boundary limit okay to cut okay it's easier to 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 work with this okay we are going to the the set okay and now we can we can we we have another option to to visualize the point cloud like a ortho image is this this kind of view okay or in this case we can use a perspective perspective view like this for me i like to match this kind of view because it's a realistic view of the of the the rain no it's very easy and very practical now we can hide or visualize at the real time to show the the grid the grid 3d of the boundary of the of the point cloud to show the limits there or even the target show okay to show the target where we are going to to see okay and now different tool for selection the point 
In this kind, we can select point by point or by rectangle, color line, or even the last way, the same the last way, the 3D box, define a, a 3D box, okay? We can change and selecting one one area that we are going to to select, okay? It's easy way to to work with this to maybe to hide, for example, hide this part of the point of cloud, etc. Okay? It's different to the to this way the, the to to extract uh, this way because in one way to selecting the the point that you you want to work and in another way you extract only the the selection okay by filter by filter that you have here okay that you get a new point cloud and finally we 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 could uh, represent the I'm going to restart everything. Uh, we could represent the point cloud in different ways. For example, in this case, it's a natural color. It's this option, okay? Natural color. This is the color of the of the of the of the point cloud, okay? Or we can use a gradient color if we have the point cloud from the sensor, the lidar sensor, for example. We can see. We can watch the, the 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 gradient, the intensity of the of the of each point, okay, or by color. In this case, uh, is is not useful for this example, but we can use to the gradient color by height, okay. I'm going to click on there. Lose uh, uh, show the palette of, of the color between the minimum high and the maximum high okay and so the or color the or each point uh, depend on depending on the the high in this case you can you can realize the the cutting area the cable of the electrical cable that they are here in the in the trend the real trench no it's easier to weigh and finally we could represent by category it depends of the sensor or maybe in this case the this sample was tiny by drone fly and processed by pix 4 d so we can get the different categories from each each point okay we can show it's it's a kind of, of category we can show the this category okay and uh, we can see different category here okay how to represent the point cloud it's only to to show how to 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 demonstrate the the point cloud that we are going to work okay this is the this tab bueno i forget to to say something about the 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 current point cloud for example the property in this case it's a point cloud that it have uh, it has 16 million of points and this is the limit of the of the boundary of the point cloud and the attribute that they are that natural color like I said before <coughs> I said before and the category that it work for example I can show the the vegetation I can the building the ground terrain etc okay Good. I think the the most important thing of this application is the tools tab. Okay. These tools tabs are defined or are created uh, in the same way that we work with MDT. So we are used to work with this kind of tools. For example, we can work with horizontal alignment, we can get cross section or profile. Or we can create a surface, a grid, etc., and contour line. Um, the most important thing is easier for us to to exchange information from MDD to point cloud or vice versa. For example, we can send a surface, a grid, or contour line to MDD or, or, or another way around. In this case, I'm going to to follow one uh, uh, same uh, small example, okay? 
for this uh, real real trend okay to analyze the slope okay i'm going to to exactly uh, like this i'm going to to analyze the slope by cross section for each uh, for each cross section cross section by cross section okay for that i'm going to get different cross section from different way in this in this in this example okay now uh, i'm going to to create a horizontal alignment okay for that i'm going to use the mdd in this case we have i can show you the the ortho mage of the the same work and where i i have drawn the the all the entity the linear entity like a fence like a pavement like a wall etc or even the tree or the vegetation but now for now we 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 need to work with the we we, we need to create a horizontal line that we are going to use this real line okay this line i'm going to convert to x to horizontal to horizontal alignment okay now mdt alignment convert polyline to alignment okay i'm going to create an alignment i'm going to to name etc okay i'm going to save here to replace the another one i'm going to show um, dimension the alignment okay and here is okay if we if you see there the new alignment that we are going to send to point cloud to analyze the real trench okay now if you look on the top we can we can find the menu of the point cloud where we can run the point cloud in this case we we just we already started because to load the point cloud maybe it take uh, three menus or something like that to avoid to to waste time um, now I'm going to send a line. It's easy way only to click on send alignment and select the, the alignment. Okay, select the alignment and open the point cloud. And here is can you and you see here is can you see down? Okay, in this case is button is on the button. Okay, we can change the the position is only for representation the 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 horizontal alignment alignment because there isn't any information about the height okay now we are going to to change the the position for example 50 okay here we can see better okay i'm going to change the target of view here uh here to see better okay okay it's better no to to check the alignment around the real trench okay now we are going to use the the tools of point clouds now we are going to use the cross section for example cross section we can define the different parameter in this case the interval the cut interval to get the cross section the 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 width of the band 20 meter and 30 meter on, at, at, at right um, the most important thing i think is the regression street this is a, a big important concept to understand the how to get the the cross section of the profile uh, it's only to get one band of the point from the point plot that they are going to project in the cross section okay like a point the same thing like a point okay i'm going to show how how it work okay now uh, the the editor of the cross section turn up and we can run along the axis to show the different cross section of the work here we can check i'm going to check now is a, a a typical cross section here for example this is the roof of the building the wall here a slope the vegetation there the electrical post uh, how to hold the how to hold the cable the electrical cable catenaria from the real the 
each real real rail line or the fourth real line a bit a bit channel down okay the slope the right slope a lot of vegetation to cover the the slope okay and it's a good tools to analyze a different slope here okay we can show different along the uh, alignment no okay uh, I, I said before uh, if you realize always are points there isn't any any kind of line la, that uh, we are used uh, so we can convert this point or we can work with this point and convert automatically to a line for example we click on create a longitudinal automatically and we are going to 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 sell to say the criteria we are going to use the minimal point the minimal height and we are going to put one vertex it's a 20 centimeter okay and here is we create a polyline along the cross section using the minimal the minimal height okay and for each cross section we have a a, a polyline that we are going to use to compare in MDD, in, in, in MDD. okay in this case we use all the point the natural point okay so now we are going to repeat the same workflow to get the same thing but only we are going to filter the point by category okay I'm going to to copy I'm going to export in MDD format axis point one point okay save okay I'm going to repeat as I said before but in this case I'm going to use only uh, I'm going to this this delete uh, the vegetation okay I only do use the, the ground terrain the building and the rest of the category okay uh, here is and uh, here's the new the new point cloth okay without vegetation now I'm going to create a cross section repeat the same parameter okay and I'm going to show the result okay it's the same thing like before okay I forget before to say that we can we can reduce the point here in the in the how to how to show the different point or even we can we can take a picture for each profile to send to MDD to analyze easier okay or maybe we can send directly uh, its cross section by like a point cloud okay in this case we send the the points and the and the the format of the cross section but we prefer or I am used to to work with line and we I'm going to create the same thing 20 centimeter okay I'm going to create the cross section by polyline it's easier to analyze and to compare different ways of the cross section okay okay I'm going to close um, <clears throat> and now later I'm going to show the different way in MDD but before I'm going to 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 show uh, how to create a surface uh, here in 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 point cloud uh, application for example I'm going to create a surface in this case only we can define two parameters the minimum distance you are, the minimum distance between point and the maximum size of the triangle okay we are going to less that 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 parameter I'm not going to abort that command but because it take a lot about around uh, two or three minutes I'm going to abort okay and I'm going to show because I load I have I have already loaded here is okay this is the triang triangulation that we get when we triangulate the point without without vegetation in this in this case if you if you realize there are some error that we must to edit maybe or delete some point and repeat the to create the the triangulation or maybe we can send the triangulation to to MDT and edit 
in MDD the triangulation. Okay. In the same way, we can create the the grid. Okay. We can create the grid. We define the cell size, one meter, and the same time before, uh, I'm going to abort the the comma. I'm going to show. Okay. I'm going to show here. Now we can see both of them, the triangulation on the grid at the same time. Okay, I'm going to to hide the triangulation. Okay, it's easier to to work because we can the hide the point cloud or we can show the point cloud in different natural color directly. Okay, or we can directly hide the the grid and show the triangulation. No? Now we can create the contour line. Okay, we are going to use in this case the current surface. Okay, and this is the the the, initi the initial parameters. Okay, okay, by one meter. And here is the contour of this work. Okay, if we realize the work, for example, we can hide only so the the contour of the work okay now i'm going to send the this triangulation this surface or this grid to mdt to get the profile <coughs> and compare with the another one okay because it's something uh, so easy like that i'm going to send in that in that work okay in that drawing i'm going to send the information surface for example send to mdd the surface i'm going to open and directly it's exported <coughs> the the surface and i'm going to set a current surface in that drawing okay and here it is that is the the surface before i'm going to get the cross section the same thing cross section here get cross section i'm going to use the horizontal align carefully okay i'm going to say where we are going to save that 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 cross section okay to replace in the same parameter okay and that is okay all the cross section here from that surface and for the grid i'm going to create a new drawing okay and now i'm going to export the 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 grid okay to send the grid now open and the same thing set as current surface okay and here it is we can view directly for example 3d view okay and here it is okay this our grid that we create in point cloud and we are going to repeat the the same thing cross section get cross section from the drag wing i'm going to choose the horizontal alignment okay the same parameter i'm going to say where we are going to shave here yes the same parameter okay and there are the the same thing no top yeah okay um now we are going to compare this kind of the of the of the of the cross section for that mdd cross section draw and face and we are going to choose each one of the cross section the first one the category from the grid and from surface okay and now in the uh, uh, editor cross section editor we can compare each one for each one to see the, the the similar difference that there are for this for, for by different ways okay in this case i think the the most the 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 better solution is the blue thing the blue color uh, it is the the surface that we get from the surface by categories okay but it needs to to edit before in mdd for example okay now we can go to to draw directly okay 
we are going to check and go to to represent the cross section i hope uh, you enjoyed with my demonstration uh, as you can check it's very easy to work with with point cloud uh, to to how to represent or how to show the different point cloud and the more important thing how to extract information to work with them okay now i'm going to hand you over with my colleague jorge cabanats to to explain or to make a demonstration point cloud editor hola jorge estás con nosotros perfecto hello jorge we don't hear you hello yes now yes please go ahead can you see my screen yes okay hello i'm jorge cabana software developer at applitop and i'm going to show you a short presentation of uh, and a few videos that demonstrate the features of tcp point cloud editor some parts are good and are accelerated due to time needs uh, so we start the presentation uh, the objectives of this presentation are because a series of facts that there are nowadays like the availability of point clouds uh, coming from different sources like uh, lidar point clouds or fixed and mobile scanners or, or photogrammetry applications uh, or users uh, demand new requirements uh, do the large amount of information of the point clouds uh, our users are also focused on surveying and, and civil engineering and we need uh, a tool for uh, managing and working with uh, this kind of information uh, we try to provide a tool that offers different editing and filtering options for the point clouds and ways to to work with these points and create different different products uh, other objective is uh, as always in applitop the easy to use of our applications the main features of the tcp point cloud editor is the point management uh, we can import uh, the most common form, uh, formats standard formats or uh, proprietary format from different uh, scanner uh, makers uh, we also uh, provide a transformation and point clouds alignment and we are able to represent the point clouds in different colors uh, based on, on the different properties of the point clouds like intensity category or, or whatever uh, we provide also uh, different editing tools uh, for selecting in different ways uh, for hiding or or removing uh, selection of points and also to change the categories of the selected points uh, we will see this in in the demonstration uh, we also uh, generate profiles as mdt point cloud does uh, and we can import or draw alignments we can generate profiles and cross sections uh, using those alignments and we have developed powerful editors uh, with many features to to work with the uh, with alignments in the same way uh, we offer uh, many tools to work with surfaces and and grids we will see that we can edit uh, grids in different ways and also that we can uh, uh, show or render uh, on the screen the these grids in in different manners so the user can appreciate the the grid that has been generated also we offer basic CAD uh, functionality and we full support a uh, double DWG or DXF uh, file formats and uh, at the end of the video we will show how to generate a, a video of a tool around the point cloud so let's go the advantages of this product uh, for users in general is that this is a standalone application 
uh, it does not need a CAD application, but it's uh, developed in order to support MDT. Uh, we can generate high quality products like surfaces and grids and profiles and we can import and export data in different formats uh, of point clothes or uh, grids uh, like land XML. We can import and export orthophotos and, and things like that. For the Applitop users in particular, uh, this product will be a replacement of MDT point cloud module that Antonio has explained before. Uh, it has a new and, and increased set of tools. Uh, we have developed a lot of uh, new tools to work with point clouds and also with, with grids. Uh, the results will be better uh, compared with MDT point cloud and we think that is the optimum combination to work with MDT. Uh, uh, as uh, always, uh, the results that uh, are exported are fully compatible with the other Applitop uh, applications because it uses the same file formats. So let's start with the demonstration. Um, I'm going to show the demonstration here. Okay, yep, this is not, I'm going to show you now the, the videos. Let's start with the first video. In this first video, we are going to, to see how to create a, a new project. We only have to set the file and folder where the project will be created. And now we are going to import the same point clothes uh, that we have seen in the in the previous demonstration by Antonio. We can see that our application can import a large uh, list of file formats from Topcom, Leica, Regal uh, and standard formats la like LAS for example in this in this case. We have different options in the way the import process will be done. We can uh, filter by properties or by the limits of the of the coordinates of the point clothes. The process of uh, import uh, needs some time. We have put some part of this video and we will get now the the results in the in the bottom line we can see uh, what the application is doing and we get the import results and a table with the boundary limits, the number of points, and also a summary of all the point loads. Now we can see that we can uh, apply different uh, options to the, to the point loads we have imported. We can see the properties and also we can, for example, change the color uh, we are rendering the point loads. We can set a single color for each point cloud in order to differentiate uh, each one. We can see that we have a last uh, point cloud and a small point cloud that was generated by photogrammetry. We can appreciate here, for example, by eight, the difference of density between the point cloud from photogrammetry and from LIDAR. As previously we did, we can see in RGB and we can also uh, show the point loads using the intensity. The photogrammetry point load does not have uh, intensity information, but the last point load uh, does. Uh, we can also, as in MDT point load, show the, the point loads by category where we can uh, we, we can set the visibility of each point cloud uh, and the, the categories and we can also uh, set name and color for user categories in order to organize the, the point clothes or the way they, the user prefers. Now we are going to focus on the on the photogrammetry point cloud and we can see uh, how we can select uh, in different ways the, the points. We have uh, many options. We can select by circle or rectangle 
uh, we, we can select also by a polygon where all the points inside the, the polygon we, we draw uh, will, be, will be selected. It will include the, the previously selected points. With the selections we can work uh, removing them or hiding them as we can see later and, and also we can use selections uh, to filter and to focus in, a, in an area of the point cloud. For example, we can see here that the category of this tower is brown because it has a seen a different categories like uh, high vegetation or, or building. We are going to filter those points in order to work uh, better because we will see only the selected points. And now we are going to, to select the tower in order to change the, the category of those points. Uh, we select the points and select the, the tool to change the, the category and we have all the last categories available and we change this category and we can see that the color has, has changed. So when we export this point load, uh, those points will have the, the assigned category. This is a useful tool to, to edit manually the, the point load and to change the, the categories. Okay, now I'm going to, to show the next video. This video is about uh, grids. Uh, we are going to create a grid uh, using the point, the points of the point cloud. We set the parameters uh, like the boundaries in X and Y, also the cell size or interpolation distance. We have options to, to fill holes, for example, or to interpolate aids. The grid we have generated is added to the, to the project and we can inspect it and, and show it in different ways uh, by, by age or by phase and changing the, the color uh, based on the, on the age or the slope or the slope direction as we will see now. And this is the options of the, of the grid re representation and also we have uh, implemented uh, lights or lightning effects in order to appreciate better the, the ground that the, this grid represents. Uh, we have implemented also a level of detail uh, view in order to watch a, a most detailed uh, grid if you get closer to the grid and, and a road uh, grid if you go farther. Now we are seeing that we can change the representation by, by aid and, and select the color palette that will be used. Uh, we can also show it by slope or also by, by slope direction. For each uh, representation mode, uh, we can select a different color palette as, as we can see. And now uh, we can also see uh, what we will uh, get if we turn off the, the illumination effect. It will be flat so we cannot see or appreciate very well the, the grid if it's uh, with faces. We also have a, a visual effect that is uh, for contours. It generates automatically the contours and we can set different parameters for major and minor contours in order to, to view uh, how soft the, the grid we have created is. Uh, this tool also uh, allows us to, to appreciate uh, if there are peaks in the, in the grid that we will be able to, to edit. Now we are going to, to edit the, the grid the first uh, tool we are showing is the rule grid where we select an area of the grid that we we know that is brown maybe due to the vegetation and we have different methods 
to to change the grid. We we can uh, apply this this operation, or we are also may undo the operation if we have a wrong a wrong result. Now we are going to see another tool for editing uh, grids. Uh, this time we will use the set terrain. This tool allows us to define a, a segment or direction and set also the left and right distances as we can see here. Uh, the user set uh, both left and side distance over the grid and also sets the, the bandwidth. We will generate uh, a cross-section and in the cross-section editor we can edit the different uh, sections that we have generated. This tool has uh, many options uh, for editing and viewing. For example, we can see here uh, each uh, cross-section and the previous one. This is useful to edit the, the cross-sections that we generate. We can edit them uh, removing uh, vertexes or also drawing a new segment and the, and the cross profile will uh, use this segment to, to create the, the cross section. Using those cross sections uh, the application generates a part of a new grid that we can uh, add to our, to our project. Uh, we can appreciate that the vegetation noise has been uh, eliminated from the from the cloud. Now uh, we can use the merge grids uh, tool that will uh, replace uh, in a, in a grid that we have uh, part of this grid with the with the grid we have generated with the set terrain uh, tool. Now we can appreciate that the terrain is is better now and is more accurate and close to the to the reality next one we are going to show the uh, alignments import uh, where we can also uh, import the vertical alignment in order to to watch uh, how this alignment uh, is uh, we can see that uh, each alignment is uh, in different color, the straight lines, curves, and clotoids. Uh, with the imported alignments, we can also uh, generate uh, profiles and cross-sections. We only have to set the initial and final station and the left and right bandwidth. And when it's selected, the points are collected from the point cloud and sent to the profiles editor. As we can see, we have here all the points that are inside the bandwidth along the, the alignment. The same thing we can do uh, with the same alignment uh, for generating cross-sections. This will generate all the cross-sections and we have uh, more parameters this time. We have the cutting interval and the left and right distance to the alignment uh, in order to generate all those uh, cuts of the of the point cloud. Once the the alignments are generated, the cross sections editor is open, as we have seen before, and we can appreciate that the that the point clouds of each sections are are created, and we can move forward and backward along the along the, the alignment. Okay, next one. This time we are going to show uh, the tools that uh, Point Cloud Editor offers in order for measuring tasks and uh, for drawing also. We are going to work in a part of this Point Cloud, is a building. And the first thing we are going to do is to, to measure a distance between two targets that are present on this facade of the, of the building. For this task, we speak in the center of each target. 
and we get a line joining both points with the distance uh, between these two points. We also have a tool for measuring uh, the distance in two dimensions and also the, the egg different. As we can see, we have a triangle where is the X and Y distance and also the set uh, different. We can remove these, these measurements. And now we are going to restore the, the full point load. And we are going to show the drawing capabilities of uh, this application. We have a layers uh, manager where we can create uh, new layers or remove uh, the, the ones we, we select. And the lines or points we, we draw will be added to the, to the current layer. Now, for example, this is a, a small example. Uh, we are going to draw uh, two closed polylines and we see how the, the polylines are drawn over the, the point load. We do the same for this other part of the, of the point load and we will see uh, that uh, we can also use the application to draw using other elements different from the points of the point cloud. For example, we have reference to entity, to, to final, mid or closest point. So we can create new, new lines joining uh, entities vertices. We can uh, configure the, the options of the layers in order to, to change the, the color or the line width of each layer. Now we are going also to import a new drawing. Uh, this drawing was created with this application also where we have uh, several layers uh, like different facades, the windows, doors, the roof, uh, the, the ground. So we can see that we can inspect in three dimensions the, the drawing. We can remove the previously created uh, layers and we can set the visibility, for example, of, of two, two of those layers. Uh, we can see that we have the windows and the doors and we can see how those, uh, the drawing uh, falls over the, over the point load. Now we are going to show also uh, other option using alignments. We can generate a quick profile of one of the facades of the, of the point load and we will get in the cross uh, in the profiles editor uh, image of this facade of the, of the building. In fact, there are only points, but when you see those points, from far you, you see an image. We use this in order to export the, the image to a JPG image uh, and we can set different options in the, in the export process. With this image we can use MDT to import the georeferenced image in order for example to uh, draw uh, a polyline using the, the image as, as a template. Uh, for example, we draw a polyline in the contour of, of this part of the building and uh, we can remove the, the image and we can see uh, the, the result we have and is here referenced in, in two dimensions. Now we will show a job that a workmate uh, did previously where we see all the facades of the building with the with the dimensions of, of each facade. Uh, when we get closer we appreciate that uh, our points is not a, a continuous image are, are the points of the point load projected to the plane of the of the profile. Last video is about uh, alignment of point loads and, and video generation uh, for, trans, uh, for transformation of, of point clothes. We have uh, different tools 
One of them is this one, is translate and truth point cloud, where we uh, select uh, two segments that are the same but in different places. Uh, we only need to give the origin point and, and a direction. And this tool will, will create a transformation and calculate the transformation parameters. Once we get these parameters, we can choose the point close that we want to transform using this transformation. This process also takes uh, some time uh, because this uh, point load, for example, has 200 million of points. And once uh, it's uh, transformed, uh, we get a new point load in, in our project with a given name. So uh, now using the, the single color uh, option of representation of point loads, we can check that uh, both point loads uh, are are the same. Uh, the transformation was was okay. And this is the last uh, feature we are going to show today. It's about uh, video generation. We can set a series, uh, several waypoints, and the application will calculate a path along these waypoints. Uh, and when we set the, the configuration options of this video, the application will create in the, in the path we select a video. Uh, the video uh, also takes uh, some time because it has to generate a lot of frames. And we can see here an example of how the, the resulting video has, has been. Uh, we can set uh, different options like speed or frame rate and other more waypoints or whatever. We can go back and and change the options in, if the resulting video is not is not okay. So that's the that's all the the presentation, and I give the uh, to to David the control of the of the presentation. Thank you, Jorge, for your time. Uh, quickly, to follow up, uh, I will um, finish our presentation saying that in our web page, if you are interested by our software, you can go to the section products, look for point clouds, okay? And inside, you will find a lot of information as some videos, but also you can download the dossier, request a quotation, or a, a, a free trial versions. Okay, I uh, just would like to finish uh, my presentation um, by saying you uh, point include uh, TCP NDT has two versions from standard to professional with three modules, image module, surveying and the point, point include modules. Uh, here is a resume about what you can find in each part of TCP NDT, like in the standard version, manage point points, make your profile and cross-section. Professional version is particularly useful when you want to design horizontal and vertical alignment and uh, make also some uh, kind of uh, volume reports or this kind of things. Surveying is when you want to, when you work with a total station and you want to make your transverse or networks or processing, there is some kind of geodetic calculators to to, to transform from one datum to another datum. Image module is about uh, to work with orthophoto, to download some photo and apply them uh, as uh, my colleague Antonio has shown and the point include as you have seen actually. Uh, remember that for working with the point include, uh, we work so much with uh, Leica scanner, Faro scanner, the generic format E5070, E57, uh, we work with uh, LIDAR, like LAS and LAS, uh, S3, uh, Polygon 5 format and generic format or MDT format. Uh, as, you see, as you have seen, we, this is uh, all the point info, color intensity and category, and some options. Uh, it needs, uh, technical needs is a Windows from XP to 10 in 32 or 64 bits 
uh, and it is compatible with all these cards, okay? BrisCAD, AutoCAD and ZiviCAD. Just to finish for those who are already interested to TCP point cloud editor, uh, you have the possibility, uh, be, uh, MDT point cloud is already available, so don't hesitate. TCP point cloud editor, we don't know actually when, will we, when it will be launched, we are still in the final phase of development, okay? But uh, it is possible to make a free exchange from um, uh, point, uh, from if you buy now MDT point cloud, uh, you can exchange it for free. Or if you want to keep it, your uh, CAD connection, uh, 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 you can keep both applications and you will get a specific and really special price for the point cloud editors. So this uh, was the point that I wanted to precise uh, today. Thank you very much to your participation and we stay at your disposal for any question you may have. Thank you. Bye-bye.